Welcome back to the 9mm Ammo Quest, another episode. Today's candidate is Federal Guard Dog. Now I'm doing a separate test on Guard Dog for wall penetration, but in this particular test we're going to do a full evaluation of how this performs from the pocket pistol, 3 inch barrel 9mm. And Guard Dog is different from everything else because it's not a hollow point. I've been testing hollow points, but Guard Dog is what they call an expanding full metal jacket. It's a flat nose bullet, its profile is that of an FMJ, there is no hollow point cavity, and what's supposed to happen is when this impacts uh, a hard surface or ballistic gel or the person you're shooting it at, it's gonna flatten and expand anyway, like a hollow point would have, except it's not a hollow point. And that's interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, there are some jurisdictions where hollow points are prohibited by law from the citizens being able to use them. So if that's the case, maybe Guard Dog provides a viable alternative if it performs well. And the second thing is they claim that this design is specifically uh, engineered to limit over penetration through walls. So I'm gonna try it through some walls. And this, this part of the test will be published separately with some other ammo, but I've got some half inch drywall here. We're gonna send it through four sheets of drywall and then into a block of ballistic gel to see uh, if you were in a situation where you had to fire your firearm and you missed the bad guy, how dangerous is that bullet and is the guard dog less dangerous to someone who might be on the other side of a wall than a conventional bullet might be? So we're gonna use professional ballistic gelatin for the uh, over penetration test through the walls and I'm gonna use some clear ballistic gelatin for the general uh, penetration and expansion testing and we're gonna head out to the range and find out how guard dog does. The results from the guard dog, pretty interesting. Three of them stopped at 12 and a quarter inches, which is excellently consistent. One went to 13 and a half, which is even better. That's, so that's four of them that really performed well. And then we had one that failed to expand and it went all the way to 21 inches. And that is not good. For the purpose of just general purpose self-defense ammo, I'd probably rule it out based on that. But for purposes of defending yourself in your home, because this is a unique, different style of bullet, I'm going to say, yeah, you know, four out of five did okay, and let's keep looking at it. After slamming through four layers of drywall, the guard dog still had enough energy to penetrate a solid nine inches of ballistic gel. That's not what we're looking for in uh, ideal self-defense, but nine inches is still plenty enough to be fatal if it hits someone in the, in the right place. So definitely guard dog is still very dangerous even after passing through two complete walls. Nine millimeter guard dogs. The expanded guard dogs, the ones that did expand look great. They expanded to a big size. I mean, that's no FMJ. I mean, that, that is as big as an expanded hollow point should be. We had one that just failed to expand at all. It shows a very little bit of polymer coming out. So it's like it thought about it, but it just didn't get the job done. And that's disappointing. The rest of them, this is the one from the drywall and it looks just like all the others. So pretty decent not too shabby one thing I want to point out though there is no sharp edge on this these are just the smoothest bullets there's there's no cutting action whatsoever going on and that's not typically the case with expanded hollow points we get some nice sharp edges that help cut the flesh as they travel through and magnify the damage uh, FMJs normally do kind of lousy damage because they're very smooth and and the flesh can just slip around them so I don't know how effective a cutter and how much damage will actually be done but that said bigger bullet is better than smaller bullet I'd much rather have this than this so the guard dogs as FMJs they are great FMJs uh, I just don't know that I think that this is quite on par with a conventional hollow point as far as once they did expand. All right, wrap up on the Guard Dog 9mm. Eh. <laughs> Mixed, but overall pretty good. 
let's keep this in context. Would I recommend this over a conventional hollow point, like one of the better hollow points that, that I've tested already? No, I wouldn't. But if you live in a jurisdiction where you're not allowed to use hollow points and you've typically been using FMJs, these are a fantastic alternative to that. They expand like a hollow point would. They're not quite as sharp. They're not going to cut quite like a hollow point would, but your alternative is an FMJ. Uh, so these are much better than that. And yes, I did have one that over-penetrated and, and failed to expand. I don't really understand how that could happen because it's not like it could plug up or anything. It should have just flattened and expanded, but it didn't. Given that, uh, even then, it wasn't horrific over-penetration. You know, I've had some 9 millimeters go over 32 inches. This went to about 21, so it was bad, but it wasn't horrible. But still, let's keep it in context. If we were comparing it against an FMJ... It, was, it would have been the same size, and it penetrated less than an FMJ would have. So for a general defensive bullet for use where you can't use a hollow point, I think it did pretty well. It's not perfect, but it's way better than FMJ. But then this thing about the walls, that I have a problem with because it's marketed that it's going to minimize overpenetration through walls. And, and you know, I, I'm sure compared to an FMJ it does, but I, I didn't see how it could do any better than a regular hollow point would. It blasts right through walls. I had it go through four layers of drywall, and then it still penetrated around nine inches, which while not the 12 inch minimum that I'm looking for, for overall penetration, still nine inches is enough to be deadly if it hit in the right spot. So if you're looking for ammo where your concern is that I may miss, I'm going to use it in a house or an apartment or a condominium or something like that, and I might miss the bad guy, and I want bullets that will not pose a danger to someone on the other side of a wall, this isn't it. This is going to be potentially lethal, even through two walls. Well, just like any other bullet would be, I'm an FMJ or a hollow point, you're going to have the same situation. So really, my advice is that if, you, if you're that worried about you know, missed shots and, and hitting innocents on the other side of walls, a firearm may not be the right defensive weapon for you. You may be better off using something like a baseball bat and pepper spray, taser, I, I don't know, but a firearm, bullets go through walls, even when they're guard dogs. And so they will pose a potential hazard to someone on the other side of the wall. So overall, I think it's a decent choice for those who can't use hollow points. For anyone else, I think hollow points would be better. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and please hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next video is posted.